of uh, fabrications in, in hadith. Uh, the most important thing, however, first and foremost, is to identify the definition of, or the proper definition of what we term in Arabic mawdu' hadith. This term mawdu' hadith, when we think about hadith being mawdu', the first thing that usually comes to mind is this idea of a intentional uh, attribution of a statement to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a, in a fashion that is a lie, right? Uh, literally, the word wada'a yada'u can mean to fabricate, to invent, to contrive something, to, um, to forge something, but it also can imply to attribute something falsely, right? To put it in the, uh, to, to place something that doesn't belong in a place that, uh, is to place something in a place that doesn't belong, right? Um, and that's why if you look at the technical definitions of the mawlu hadith, uh, the, the definition includes in unintentional as well as intentional attribution of something to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So one of the technical definitions that's given is that any hadith, whether it's a statement, action, or tacit approval. So for those who are familiar with the science of hadith, hadith is defined as a statement, action, or tacit approval, meaning a silent approval, of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or even a companion or a successor, a tabi'i. But if we just uh, look at the attribution of a statement, action, or tacit approval to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the definition of a fabrication or a mawdu hadith, so let's use the word mawdu, the definition of a mawdu hadith is that any hadith that did not originate from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but was attributed to him either unintentionally or purposefully or intentionally. So either one. And then either ignorantly or deceptively. Meaning that if someone attached a statement to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam out of ignorance, did not intend to do so, had they known it was not a hadith, they would not have done so, that still is considered a mawlu hadith. Or deceptively, meaning that they intentionally uh, were trying to deceive people into thinking that it is a hadith, but it wasn't. So, Usually when we think of a mawdu hadith, we think of a, um, the word fabrication in, in implies intent. But in reality, a mawdu hadith is simply a false attribution. And that's why uh, perhaps we can um, suffice with this more uh, concise definition that any hadith that's falsely attributed to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam intentionally or unintentionally. unintentionally. So oftentimes you, when we'll see this in, in some of the, uh, the cases. Uh, at the end of the presentation, uh, oftentimes we will find that there are statements that are in meaning true. In fact, they are; they seem to be very sound statements, um, and they may even, in their in the Arabic, sound like hadith because they're concise, they are eloquent, um, they are comprehensive in meaning. Um, but they're not something that the Prophet Sallallahu said. It was perhaps something a companion said, or a tabi'i said, or one of the awliya said and somebody unintentionally attributes it to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we will call those statements and actions also mawdu'ah. We will call it mawdu'ah because it is literally a false attribution. Okay. And that is going to be very important for us to recognize that differentiation. So be, just because a statement is falsely attributed to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it doesn't mean that the statement is false. Okay. <clears throat> However, the majority of fabrications in Islamic history were intentional, as we'll see, inshallah. Now, the